We're out here on beautiful Fort Lauderdale Beach today and there's my staff behind us working hard to find great deals on catamarans for you. And uh, seriously though, today we're going to talk about buying catamarans in Europe because we sometimes find some really good deals there. But the thing to remember is you always want to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So what do I mean by that? Well. A lot of the boats over there are stripped out charter boats. They don't have a lot of extra equipment. The, a lot of Europeans don't like air conditioning and generators. Their attitude is, oh, well, we want to live in the oh, natural environment and you know, air conditioning is not natural and generators are noisy and dirty and require a lot of maintenance. So no, we don't like those things. So, you know, you must make sure that the boat that you're looking at has everything you want and if it doesn't that it's priced to allow the budget to install those items which we can arrange for it's no problem but I'm just saying compare apples to apples now the European market prices are subject to seasonal price trends the same way the Caribbean market which is the largest market in the world for catamarans and their market is a bit different because their high season of use is from late May to early October and so everybody in Europe wants to use their boat then and a lot of these boats that you see listed on the MLS they don't tell you this but when you contact them directly they say oh well it's not really available until October because the owners using it and so there's a little catch there and sometimes these boats are in charter because you know 90 percent of all catamarans go into charter at some time in their lives and so you know they'll tell you something like well it's in charter it's got bookings through october 15th so you can take possession and pick it up after then so how do we handle that well we can make a deal today it's it's july 1st here and you can have a survey done and um, you can accept the vessel after survey with the proviso that we resurvey later and the same surveyor goes back to just make sure that there have been no damage done to the boat since we last looked at it and then if there hasn't been and he writes that puts that in writing then we move toward closing so that's usually how we handle those deferred title transfers now the lowest prices are usually found in the countries of Croatia Italy and Greece and you got to remember that you know these aren't always super well maintained although leopards usually are um, you also have to remember that over there we see a very high percentage of these agents who are doing yacht brokerage part-time and they give really some of the worst service in the world they don't answer emails or the phone very promptly and you know when you have questions they, they could take two three days to get back to you and they just don't do business the way we do here in North America um, you also have to remember that surveys cost more over there generally docks cost more haul outs more ground transportation costs more than say in America and there can sometimes be extra closing costs and ambiguous laws that apply in certain countries so you got to be careful and not trigger any taxes like VAT can be pretty high over there between 17 and 21 percent or more and but I can help you arrange the deal so that you're not subject to that but we have to do a little preparation you can't call me at the last minute and say oh no I think I'm gonna get taxed to help me no you have to structure it from the beginning a certain way we sometimes do what's called offshore closings and I can explain that to you if you give me a call um, now the worst thing about doing business over there is that they do business differently than we do and in North America we generally have contracts that are based on English common law which I believe to be fair to both parties um, in the French islands here Napoleonic law 
can sometimes apply, but a lot of those agencies have switched over to the common law type contracts. Now, in Europe, they do business differently. And especially in Italy, Greece, and Croatia, they do business based on old Roman law. And one of the precepts of old Roman law is caveat emptor, okay? Let the buyer beware. And another precept, which uh, I haven't translated word for word, but it basically says, if you are deceived by a seller, well, you allowed it to happen, and so tough luck for you. And you know, I've been sitting there at the bar listening to some of these Italian and Greek and Croatian brokers, and you know, they think it's sport to see how much advantage they can take of buyers. And they just laugh it off. They just think that's funny, you know. Um, and also, you know, if you ever send your deposit to them, good luck getting it back because it's very difficult. They will use any excuse to try and keep your deposit. And so this is one reason you want a buyer's agent like myself to hold the funds in escrow subject to the usual conditions so that after we evaluate the vessel and when they have signed all the paperwork that transfers title, then and only then do we send them the money. Otherwise, don't send them any money because you probably won't get it back. They love to hold deposits, all right? Um, another reason some of those boats are really low in price is that there is no commission in them for buyer's agents. Lake is built into many of the prices in the Caribbean. And so they, they might only take, you know, 2%, 3%, and that's all for them. They will not share commissions. So they do not want the buyer to have their own broker because they, they can take advantage of somebody who's not experienced a lot better if they don't have representation. And so this is one of the best reasons to get someone like me to represent you because I've been down this road before. I've been doing it 30 years and I've never had a problem over there yet that we couldn't solve. We've had a lot of uh, sellers who misrepresented the boats grossly try and get the deposits, but I wouldn't send it to them. I just said, no, tough luck, too bad. Look at your contract. We're not sending it. You misrepresented the boat, which they do. And so if there is no commission for uh, representing you uh, I can we can work out a consulting fee um, that's reasonable and I'll protect you and I'll protect your deposit from getting seized by these vultures <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in talking more about the seasonal price tendencies over there and you know the best deals are usually had July August September because you see these owners of yachts if they don't sell them by the end of their season, they're faced with having to store the boat for six months. And many marinas over there now, and boat yards, where they will haul them out and store them on the hard, will demand six months in advance. And so they could be, you know, 1,500 to 2,500 a month to dry store them if you're in a popular area. And in addition to the dry storage fees, you know, you have other carrying costs like insurance, um, maintenance, uh, if you have a loan, you know, there's interest expenses. And so, you know, these owners could be looking at 20 or $25,000 savings if they can sell the boat right at the end of their season. And they're willing to pass that on to you if you can work with their timing. And so the best time is, is late summer, early fall to make a deal. And if you need the boat delivered to the Caribbean, it's no problem. Uh, I've done a number of them from the Western Med, like, you know, France, Spain, maybe Northwest Italy, to the Northeastern Caribbean for between $16,000 and $19,000, all inclusive, uh, delivered to the Caribbean from the Western Med. And all inclusive means that, you know, you have an insurance approved crew, and this includes their airfare home and everything. Uh, you know, some delivery crews will charge uh, a day rate, and then it's, it's kind of like hiring a taxi. So, 
you know, they're kind of incentivized to take you on a ride, if you know what I mean. So no, you only want to book all-inclusive deliveries, and I'll help you do this. And you know, this, this is the way to get a good boat at a good price, and not overpay. And you know, I'm happy to help you. Uh, so if you would like a buyer's agent uh, to consult with you and navigate the hazards of buying in Europe, all you have to do is go to my website, largecatamaransforsale.com and give me an email, send me a text, give me a call and uh, be happy to work with you. Smooth sailing.